So Dave, back to back defeats against two quality sides up there in the division. What are your thoughts after this one tonight against Macclesfield? I thought the lads did really well. Uh, I think probably we started a little bit tentative, maybe give them a little bit too much respect. But uh, I know the players and I know, you know, uh, they've got quality all over the park. But uh, to be fair, I think, you know, we had to have a go when we were 2-0 down. I was looking that if we could nullify the game for first half and, and uh, make a couple of substitutions, which Ty's been coming on now and, and, and affecting games. And I thought he did well again when he came on. Uh, but the Utters with two quick goals, uh, you know, take nothing away from them. They are they are a quality team, a lot of good players. But, you know, I thought our lads rallied round and they, and they never gave up. Uh, we played some nice football in, in, in patches, uh, moved the ball well. And on another night, with maybe a lesser opposition, we certainly would have got something out of the game. Uh, but we responded in the second half. Uh, Ty came on and gave us a threat down that side. We seemed to get at them a little bit. And uh, I think there was, there was times when, when we had them worried. Yeah, you mentioned that. There was a potential, really, to get one back just before they scored their third goal. It was a big turning point in the game now when they made that double save to deny Joe Willis, wasn't it? Yeah, and, uh, and, and uh, look, I, I just... When you've got young players in the team, you've got to try and give them as much experience. Uh, and that's down to Dale, myself, and and uh, I think Owen and Joe will, will become very, very good players at this level and higher. Uh, but they've got to talk more and they're playing against experienced players there tonight. And, they, and Joe will learn and, and Owen will learn in these games against players that have been at this level and a lot higher. And, uh, and I thought it was a feather in the cap that they kept going all through the game. Like you say, a couple of great efforts from Joe. I thought Owen led the game well. And then it's just little things where we switched off for that third goal, where we didn't get tight enough in in midfield, off the throw-in, and, and, and it was all too easy. But, look, the, the lads are up for the fight. They've got seven games to go now. And, look, it's going to be massive, massive each game. And, and we knew if we could have got a bonus out of these two games, then it would have been fabulous. But, you know, I've said to them all in there, don't be down on, on, to the, on tonight's performance. Take all the positives out of it and bring them in to training on Thursday and then for the game at Bamber Bridge on Saturday. Yeah, you talked about Connie Heath and Tyson Yecker off the bench. Did that give you something to think about on Saturday then maybe starting them in that game against Bamber Bridge? Well, uh, you know, we don't want to give too much away, but the problem with Connor and the problem with, with Ty and the problem with a lot of the young players is the hit and miss. And... When they're hot, they're hot, but when they're cold, they're, they're, they're not, they're not they're too cold to play at this level. And Tyrese is getting there. Uh, I think Connor can be the most frustrating player. We, we've had the chat before the game because he come on and I think the first three times he had the ball tonight, he gave away. And then he produces the goal. Did anyone get a final touch on that, by the way? Uh, I think I think it was a bit of a scramble on the yeah, line, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Uh, and then he has an half volley, which the keeper pulls off a great save. So, you know, they are work in progress, uh, but we can't we can't put too many of them lads in, and then they disappoint because we have got to have at least nine or ten players that are on it for Saturday to to get anything out of the game. You said to me before this weekend that you didn't expect to get any from from these two games. I suppose out there tonight we've seen what quality they have and that was too good for us, wasn't it? Yeah, and, 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 and sometimes you have to hold your hands up and you've got to say, you know, Radcliffe are 12 points ahead in the league. They've, when they sign the players that they've got, you know, the Josh Hancocks of this world, and you, you know they are signing quality. Players that are proven a, a league or two leagues above. Again, with Macclesfield, they've got a lot of quality throughout the team. But sometimes the, the, you can catch them on an off day or, or I think certainly tonight. We were better tonight, a lot better tonight than we were Saturday. 
So we've got, we've got, we've got to have that belief and, and, and take it into this coming Saturday's game. Yeah, Bamber Bridge this Saturday. Now six points to drift from safety then with seven games to go. How does that sound to you uh, going into the minutes? Well, it, it, you know, it, do, it doesn't sound good, Luke. You know, we, it, we'd love it to be a lot closer, but it's a couple of wins. And the lads have got to believe that we can, you know, we can go to Bamber Bridge on Saturday and get nothing short of three points uh, and then prepare for the next game. And... Look, I believe if we if we can win five games out of the seven, I think we'll get out of it. Hopefully so, Dave. Thanks for your time, as always. Sir. Okay.